the port of San Francisco. One of the world's great cruise ports. Three hundred seventy acres of marine terminals located on the west side of San Francisco Bay. Here at the Pier 80 Omni Terminal, Metro Ports is proud to be the terminal operator. Pier 80 in San Francisco is a general cargo facility. There we discharge steel products, project cargo, yachts. Um, this year we're going to be handling Oracle yachts that are going to be utilized for the America's Cup race. Metro Ports cargo operations are extensive. Pier 80 in San Francisco is just one of 13 terminals Metro Ports operates throughout the United States. The cargo operations employ around 50 people between the business development and the operations themselves. Pier 80 handles mostly brake bulk cargoes. The Oracle yachts fall under this category. When handling a piece of cargo as expensive as an Oracle yacht, the brake bulk operations have to be prepared with a fully stocked gear department. They are ready for any challenge to ensure excellence in brake bulk handling. We have cargoes like the USA 17, which is worth millions and millions of dollars. And when we meet with somebody, they want to know how is it going to be handled? How are you going to manage it? How is it physically going to be handled bringing it out of the vessel and placing it on the dock? The brake bulk operation is a time intensive process. Planning begins long before the ship arrives. There must be a series of checks and balances that occur before the cargo is ever touched. Any small mistake could be costly, whether it be damages to the cargo or injury to workers. Everyone involved needs to ensure the cargo reaches the dock safely and that no one is harmed. We have cranes, or the ships have cranes. You place the slings on the cargo, it's hoisted out of the vessel, placed onto the dock, it's loaded onto one of those trucks and then taken out of the terminal. It's still a manual labor and we have to employ a lot of people in order to handle that. Longshoremen are responsible for the physical labor involved in discharging the cargo. These gangs come out and they're the longshoremen that are actually on the vessels that physically do the work of the, on the ship. They're the ones that are controlling the cranes. They're the ones that are hooking up the cargo. They're the ones that are driving the forklifts. Our personnel, who are Metro employees, are the superintendents. Metro port superintendents are there to manage, supervise, and direct. The personnel that we have that are actually superintendents that are there physically doing the job, they're ones that have to be strong individuals. While the longshoremen are busy doing the manual labor, it is the superintendent's job to be the eyes and ears for everybody at all times. Injuries can happen, so it's their job to make sure no one gets hurt. You can imagine if you're putting a sling on a piece of cargo and you have to make sure that your hands and feet are, are out of the way of these type of things. So. Injuries do happen, but it's our superintendent's job to make sure that they don't. Safety is a constant concern because the ships are always coming, which means the superintendent's job never ends. They have to be available 24-7, 365 days a year. Having a fixed schedule is not exactly part of the job description. It's not uncommon to tell a guy at 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon that, hey, you have to work this weekend. So they have to be prepared for that type of a, a work environment. Metro Port's brake bulk operations has a very strong and solid reputation in the industry. They develop valued long-term customer relationships in the steel and general cargo industries. Everyone involved in the brake bulk process is committed to providing the best service possible and keeping the client in mind when handling their cargo. I've been doing it now for about 30 years and, and I love it. I, I can't think of doing any other type of industry. I mean, you, you get to play with these huge toys that are out there. You know, you're working with great big cranes and forklifts and huge assortment of personalities on the waterfront. And, and it's, uh, it's great. The maritime industry, especially when you're involved in operations, you can imagine it's, it never stops. Mm -hmm.